Hello students, in this video we'll discuss streamlines of a vector field. If we're given, and we'll just focus on two-dimensional vector fields, there's a similar result for three-dimensional vector fields. Let's give a 2D vector field. V of xy. It will output something, f of xy, in the i direction, and g of xy in the y direction. If I was to do this for a three-dimensional vector field, I would just put z, v of x, y, z, f of x, y, z, g of x, y, z, and h of x, y, z, k hat. So there's not really much of a difference over here. We say that a curve r of t, which is x of t comma y of t, is a streamline, and we'll just give it some parameter space, say that t goes between a and b, is a streamline of v if this collection of differential equations is satisfied. If x prime of t is f of x of t y of t, and y prime of t is g of x of t, y of t. Now this analytic condition over here might not make sense, but if we think of the perspective of the geometry, it makes a lot more sense. So if we were to plot this vector field over here, let me just do a sort of a, a small plot over here, x and y, and I plot a whole bunch of vectors like this maybe. Maybe my vector field looks like this. Then we have a good sense of what a trajectory would be. So in other words, if I was to plug in and put a particle into this vector field, say I put a particle right here, we'd say, OK, well, this particle should, in principle, do what? It should probably go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So in other words, this curve over here, r of t, seems to follow the flow, follows the flow. So that curve r of t is what I would call a streamline. So r of t here is what we're going to call a streamline. Okay. Now what characteristic does r prime have? So if I look at r prime, well what is r prime? So r prime of t is just going to be x prime of t, y prime of t. Oh, x prime of t, y prime of t is the vector I see over here on the left-hand side of the equation. Now, that r prime is the tangent vector. So if I was to draw the tangent vector of this curve, I would have this. The tangent vector of the curve would be this. 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 In other words, the tangent vectors to the curve, the r prime, would be equal to v. So roughly, what that would say is that would say that r prime is is equal to v. And what does this equation say over here? Well, what is r prime? r prime is going to be x prime of t. So x prime of t is the x coordinate of the velocity. What's the x coordinate of the velocity? f of x, y. So f of x, y on the what? On the curve. What is the y, what's the y component of the velocity of the curve? It's y prime of t. What is the y component of the velocity? It's g of t. So I have g, y prime is equal to g of t. So that's what the analytic condition implies. So the analytic condition is not sort of as visually appealing as this streamline configuration in the xy plane. Now, that being said, to find streamlines, you have to solve a system of, in principle, nonlinear differential equations. To find streamlines, you must solve, let's call that system star, solve the ODE system, ordinary differential equation system star. And only in special instances is that system going to be explicitly solvable. So let me give an example when you can solve such a system. I claim to you that r of t, which is cosine of t sine of t, that parameterizes the unit circle, where t goes between 0 and 2 pi, is a streamline. of the vector field v of x, y, 
which is negative y i hat plus x j hat. To see why this is a streamline, I need to check that the, that's my x of t over here, and that's my y of t over here, right? This negative y is my function f, and that x is my function g. So I need to check that x prime of t is x prime of t equal to what? Is f prime of t equal to f? Is y prime of t equal to g? Of course, g where? At x of t, y of t? At x of t, y of t. Okay, so let's check. What's x prime? So x prime is going to be negative sine. Y prime is going to be positive cosine. Is this equal to? Is this equal to? Well, what's f? f is negative y, so negative y on the curve. And this is equal to x on the curve. Well, what is negative y on the curve? Negative y on the curve is negative sine t. That's negative sine t. What's x on the curve? x on the curve is cosine t. So we ask ourselves the question, is it true that negative sine t is equal to negative sine t? That's true. Is cosine t equal to cosine t? That's true. So in fact, our claim has been proven. This curve over here, the unit circle, is a streamline of this vector field. If you sit down and you plot a few points, if you plug a few points into that, or a few vector points into that vector field v of x, y, you will see that the vector field sort of traces out a circle. And so this validates the point that the unit circle is a streamline of that vector field. Thank you very much.